In today's video, we will see 10 advanced functions of Excel. These functions are really helpful and easy to use. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. Our very first function is text join. Over here, we have got the names like initials, first name, middle name, last name. And over here, we want full name without initials and over here, full name with initials. I'm not going to use concatenate over here. Instead, I'll use text join plus or equal to text join bracket open delimiter. What I want to put as delimiter, I want to put space, comma, full stop or dash. In my case, I want space. So I'll put double inverted comma space, double inverted comma close comma. As soon as I inserted comma, I got two options, true and false. True is Ignore empty cells and false is include empty cells. So I'll click on true because I want to ignore empty cells. Comma text one. This is my text one. Comma text two. This is my text two. Comma text three. This is my text three. Comma text four. Last name is my text four. I'll close the bracket and I'll hit enter. And I got my full name. But over here I want without initials. So I'll delete this plus or equal to text join bracket open. I'll put my delimiter as double inverted comma space double inverted comma comma ignore if empty. I'll select true comma text one. I'm not going to select text one by one. I'll select all the text together. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And I got the full name without initials. Over here, I want name with initials. Process will be same plus or equal to text join bracket open delimiter double inverted comma space double inverted comma comma. I'll select true comma. I'll select name with initials. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So I got the full name. This can be done through flash fill also. Let me delete both. Over here, I'll type Mr. Albert. Jordan Monk enter. Now I'll press Ctrl E. I got all the names without any formulas. I'll copy this Ctrl C or Command C and we'll paste over here Ctrl V or Command V. We'll go on top and we'll delete Mr. Enter. Now I'll press Ctrl E and just check. I got all the names with initials and without initials. Let's see next example. Text split. Over here, I have got my full name with initials. Over here, I want initials, then first name, middle name and last name. So for that, I'm going to use text split plus or equal to text split bracket open text. This is my text comma column delimiter. I'll put double inverted comma space, double inverted comma close bracket close and I'll hit enter and just check. I got my text splitted. Even this thing can be done through flash field. I'll delete this over here. I'll type Mr. Albert Jordan Monk. I'll come over here. We'll press Ctrl E over here. Also Ctrl E Ctrl E and Ctrl E. So either you can use text split or Ctrl E that is flash fill as per your requirement. Let's move to another example. Filter over here. I have got a sales data of departmental store. These are the departments, items, quantity, rate and sales. And I want to check the sales department wise. The first department I want to check is stationary. I'll click over here plus or equal to filter bracket open array. This is my array means my data is my array comma include what I want to include. I want to include department. So I'll select department from top is equal to I'll type stationary double inverted comma stationary double inverted comma close bracket close and I'll hit enter. Just see I got all the details of a specific department. We can make this dynamic. I'll click over here. We'll go to formula bar over here in the end. I have typed the name of department. I'll delete this. We'll delete double inverted commas also and we'll click over here. Enter. 
Over here, I have got a drop down. I'll change the department from drop down. This time, I'll select fresh products and just see. I got all the details of fresh products. I'll change this beauty products. On the top, I want total. So for that, I'll use plus or equal to subtotal bracket open. I got many options. I'll select number nine. That is sum comma. I'll select sales from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now just see when I'll change the department. Sales will change accordingly. Let's see another example. We stack. I have got two data over here. This is my first data and this is my second data. And I want to combine the data. If the data is very less, you can do copy paste. But if the data is really vast, in that case, you can use vstack. The function or formula will be plus or equal to vstack bracket open ra1. This is my ra1 comma ra2. I'll select this. So this became my ra2. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. In one go, vstack combined my data. Let me delete this. Let me delete the heading also. Delete. I'll change the color plus or equal to V stack bracket open RA. This time I'll select my RA from top means I'll select heading also in first data comma RA2. In this data, I'll not select the headings. I'll just select my data. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Just check. I got my data properly. Even I got my headings. I'll delete this. What will happen if I'll select headings in both the data? Let's check. Plus or equal to V stack bracket open. I'll select the data with headings, comma. I'll select this also. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Just see over here. I got name, region and revenue means in the center, I got heading and I got heading from here. So in case you are selecting the headings, just select from one data. I'll undo this. Now let's see. V stack with filter. This is the same data what we have created right now. Over here, I have used V stack, and over here, we will see how to use V stack with filter. This is my data of V stack, what we have seen right now. I want to check the sales data above 5000 plus or equal to V stack bracket open RA. I'll select the headings, comma, filter bracket open RA. I'll select this from top to bottom. In the end, we can see has because I have used V stack over here, comma, include. I'll include sales from top to bottom, greater than or equal to. I'll type 5000. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And just see, I got the data of sales which are above or equal to 5000. If I change the figure from here, if I'll do it 3000, enter and just see, I got all the sales which are equal to or above 3000. Let's see our another example. Unique. I have got departments over here and items. Few departments are repeated. So just to know unique list, we can use the function of unique plus or equal to unique bracket open RA. This is my RA comma. I got two options. True return unique columns, return unique rows. I'll select return unique columns. If you close the bracket, it's okay. If you don't close the bracket, it's okay. I'll hit enter without closing the bracket. And I got the list, but this is not unique. Let's delete this and let's use unique once again, plus or equal to unique bracket open RA. I'll select department from top to bottom, comma. Last time we had selected true. This time we will select false, return unique rows and we'll hit enter and just see there are total three departments and I got just three names items. We will have to do the same thing plus or equal to unique bracket open. We'll select item list from top to bottom comma. We'll select false and we'll hit enter. So this is my unique list. If I'll drag apples, my list got reduced. If I'll drag apples once again, just see if the items are getting repeated. My unique function is taking items name just once. Let's see second example of unique. Over here, I have got just one department and item list. Many items are repeated over here. Plus or equal to unique 
ब्रैकेट ओपन आर ए आई सिलेक्ट आइटम्स एज आर ए कॉमा रिटर्न यूनिक कॉलम्स रिटर्न यूनिक रोज आई सिलेक्ट रिटर्न यूनिक रोज कॉमा आई गॉट ऑप्शन वंस अगेन ट्रू रिटर्न आइटम्स दैट अपियर एग्जैक्टली वंस आई सिलेक्ट ट्रू विल क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंड विल हिट एंटर एंड जस्ट सी आई गॉट द नेम मॉन्क बिकॉज मॉन्क गॉट एपियर्ड ओवर हियर जस्ट वंस लेट्स यू नदर एग्जाम्पल सॉट ओवर हियर हैव गॉट द डिपार्टमेंट एंड आइटम्स नेम ऑफ द आइटम्स आर नॉट इन अल्फाबेटिकल वे टू अरेंज दिस इन अल्फाबेटिकल वे इ द असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग वी कैन यूज सॉट प्लस और इक्वल टू सॉट ब्रैकेट ओपन आर ए दिस इज माई आर ए कॉमा सॉट इंडेक्स आई पुट वन कॉमा नाउ आई गॉट द ऑप्शन असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग फॉर असेंडिंग वी विल हैव टू सेलेक्ट वन एंड फॉर डिसेंडिंग वी विल हैव टू सेलेक्ट माइनस वन सो आई सेलेक्ट वन ओवर हियर विल क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंड विल हिट एंटर आई गॉट द लिस्ट इन असेंडिंग वे आई क्लिक ऑन टॉप विल गो टू फॉर्मूला बार विल डिलीट वन एंड विल डू इट माइनस वन एंटर नाउ वी कैन सी द लिस्ट इन डिसेंडिंग वे विथ शॉर्ट वी कैन यूज यूनिक ऑल्सो आई डिलीट दिस प्लस और इक्वल टू यूनिक ब्रैकेट ओपन आर ए आई सेलेक्ट दिस फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम विल क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंड विल हिट एंटर आई गॉट द यूनिक लिस्ट नाउ लेट्स यूज शॉर्ट ओवर हियर विल गो टू फॉर्मूला बार शॉर्ट ब्रैकेट ओपन विल कम टू द एंड विल क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंड विल हिट एंटर नाउ वी कैन सी आवर लिस्ट इन असेंडिंग वे नाउ लेट्स सी आवर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल एक्स लुकअप ओवर हियर आई हैव गॉट डिपार्टमेंट आइटम्स एंड माई सेल्स Over here, I have got name of only items and against items, I want to take out department and sales. If both the lists are in same sequence, you can just do copy paste. But in case if it's not in sequence, we can use X lookup because V lookup can't be used over here. Plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value. This will be my lookup value, comma lookup R A. So where I want to look my items from here. So I'll select this from top to bottom, comma return array. So what I want in return, I want department. So I'll select all the department from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I got the department. We'll drag it down. In one place, I got an error. There's some space over here. I'll delete this, enter, and the error got vanished. Sales for sales also I'll use X lookup plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value I'll take items name as lookup value comma lookup array I'll select all the items from top just one thing to remember in case you are going to drag your data you'll have to lock your cells by pressing F4 or function F4 comma return array what we want in return we want sales. So I select sales from top to bottom. We we'll lock the cells by pressing F4 or function F4. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got the sales. If I type apples over here, I got sales of apples. Now we can drag this down. Let's see our next example. Substitute. These are employees' names, and in end of every employee's name, we can see Monk, and we have to remove Monk from here. I'll click next to employee's name and we'll use substitute. This time I'm not going to use plus or equal to over here. Means I'm not going to use function over here. I'll go to formula bar. And just before the formula bar, we can see fx means function. I'll click over here. A window got opened. I'll take this to left. Search substitute. On top we can see substitute. I'll click over here. Insert function. Text. This is my text. Old text. I'll type monk over here. New text. I want blank, so I'll put double inverted comma twice. Instance number. I'll put one, and we'll click on done. And just see, monk got removed from here. I'll click on done, and we'll close this. Now we can drag this down, or can select from top to bottom, and can press Control D. From all names, monk got removed. Let's see our next example. Ifs. Over here, I have got the customers. Their loan types and payment date, and I have to take out their status. About thirty days, it's overdue. 
above or equal to 25 days it's due below 25 days not due for that we can use if but in case we will use if we will have to use nested if so instead of nested if i'll use ifs over here plus or equal to ifs bracket open logical test so logical test will be today bracket open bracket close minus payment date is greater than 30 comma what we want in return we want overdue so i'll put double inverted comma overdue double inverted comma close comma logical test 2 so i'll type today bracket open bracket close minus payment date is greater than or equal to 25 comma what we want in return we want due so i'll type double inverted comma due double inverted comma close comma logical test 3 it will be today bracket open bracket close minus payment date is less than 25 days comma it's not due so i'll put double inverted comma not due double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter i got overdue as my status i'll drag it down or we'll select this from top to bottom we'll press ctrl d so in some place we can see overdue in some place we can see due and in some place we can see not due let's see our next and last example let this is the same data what we have seen right now on the top we will see let plus or equal to let bracket open name i'll have to provide a name over here so let me provide the name as monk comma name value i'll take name value as today bracket open bracket close minus i'll click on this date comma now i'll use ifs ifs bracket open logical test in logical test i'm going to type monk because i have just created this logic i'll type monk we can see monk over here i'll click on monk is greater than 30 comma i want overdue double inverted comma close comma monk is greater than or equal to 25 comma double inverted comma i want due double inverted comma close comma monk is smaller than 25 comma double inverted comma i want not due double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter and just see my formula is working perfectly so over here i have used let and ignored my maximum formulas so these are the few functions which will enhance your daily productivity i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye